Hello. Today's Advent message is from Jeremiah 31 verses 12 to 17. The Lord's mercy on Israel. The Lord said, a sound is heard in Ramah, the sound of bitter weeping. Rachel is crying for her children. They are gone, but she refuses to be comforted. Stop your crying and wipe away your tears. All that you have done for your children will not go unrewarded. They will return from the enemy's land. There is hope for your future. Your children will come back home. I, the Lord, have spoken. At the beginning of this Advent season, we read these words of sadness and pain. It is a story from the history of the Jewish people in the Old Testament. It tells of the time when the Jews were taken off into captivity and reminds us just what a painful episode it was for them. But they were comforted by the promise that there was hope for the future. There was hope for their descendants. There was hope for their children. God reminded them of his mercy and that he was working his purpose out year by year. There is not much hidden about Christmas in this country, is there? There are lights everywhere and busy preparations at every hand. Even at the end of this extraordinary year of hardship and grief for many, Jeremiah's words hold a promise and a hope for us. As we begin our Christmas celebrations, we're reminded that the word Advent means the arrival of an important person. And of course, that important person is God himself coming to earth as a baby to be God with us, Emmanuel. He came to be the voice of hope for us all. The coming of Jesus into the world shows us just how much God wants us to know him. Just how much he went through to break down the barriers between us and him. Because he came to earth, we can know him, love him, and follow his ways. God doesn't want to be just an idea in your mind. He wants you to know him and to be close to him. Christmas comes as a challenge as well as a promise. Christ's coming to earth asks you to trust him. The Christian life starts with a simple, humble yes to that question and that invitation. May you truly know Christmas joy this year.